Hey everyone, in this video we're going to create this beam blocking effect where in anime when a character blocks a beam, the beam scares throughout, like shown here. So we're going to create a shader to do that. And we're going to create these lines here plus the middle part. So to first start off, uh, let's create our shape. We're going to, if they add in a circle, then we're going to rotate the circle on the x-axis by 90 degrees. And we're going to control A to apply the rotation. And now we're going to go into edit mode. Select all the vertices and we're going to extrude and then scale inward. There is good enough. Right, and then back out now we have to work on the uvs we we're going to use uvs to do our shading we have to go to uv editing tab all right so now that we're in our uv editing tab let's select all the vertices and press u to unwrap and then we're going to get this so we want our uvs to be from uh linear so instead of a circle we're going to Select an edge and scale on the x axis. Make it straight and select the other edge on the sides. Now we're going to select the face, like the face that we just made, and let's select all our faces. And then we're going to unwrap again and make sure that this one is active. We're going to unwrap following active clots. Okay. Now we have a linear fashion. Now we just have to scale this within the box of the UVs. So let's turn on constraint to image bounds so we can bring it inside. So let's scale. Now we just have to scale it to make it fit inside the box all the way. enough all right now we just have to edit this a little bit more we can add in some loop cuts here because we need more geometry and we're going to take this and we're going to move it out on the y-axis to make a cone shape Grab these, select these, and grab it on these. And then we'll have to turn on proportional editing. Own shape. Around there is good. And then while these vertices are selected, we can press M to merge them at center. And that's basically shape and it's smooth it. Now we have to go put our textures in. Let's go to the shading tab. And here we are in the shading tab. Um, let's add a new material. Let's start working on this. So we're going to delete our pins of BSDF and let's add in a wave texture and then the mapping node and texture coordinate input so we're going to put the UVs to our mapping and mapping to our wave texture see what this looks like now we have this so these lines are going to be these lines here where the beam comes out so we can scale this to how many we want we don't need that much the around here is good now let's uh, 
make it transparent. And let's add in a transparent BSDF and a vision shader. Mix shader to mix these two. Plug the transparent on top, mission on the bottom, and the wave texture as the factor. When we look at this, we have this, nothing's happening, so we have to turn on our blend mode in the material properties to alpha blend. Off the shadow mode too. Okay, so now we have this. Now we, the white part is going to be the size of our beam, but this is too wide, so we need to control that. So let's add in a color ramp to control that. We're going to add in a color ramp in between the wave. And we'll just slide back towards white here to however you want your lines to be okay and then for the color we can have here's this green here all right so that's the base of the Jada for our beam. So now we'd have to make this white part here in the middle and then some soft edges on the top of it just to make it more like this reference image that we have here. So in order to do that, we can add in a, another wave texture. We can use the same one and we'll just duplicate this color ramp. Add the wave texture here. And then we can just mix the two and mix RGB. Mix this one, this one, this one. In. We want this one to be a little bit better than the other one, so. Yeah, just to get that difference. Okay. And then we can do the same thing for the white part in the middle. So we can add, make this, duplicate this. The color ramp. The color ramp. And then for this part, since uh, we want it to be white and green at the same time, so we'll change this one to green. Leave the other one white. We're going to connect this color to the emissions here. All right, so now we have this. And then let's change the scale of this to be a little bit smaller. Greener. Okay, so that's uh, this part here where the beam scatters out. That's pretty much it. Made that much. Now we're gonna make uh, this middle part here. Alright, so to make this middle part here, I'm gonna be using Phoenix Auto Flash tutorial that was on his channel. Um, you can find I'll put it on the link description. Uh, I'm not gonna explain what. In detail how to do it because he explains it better than me you can check out this video but i'm just going to quickly add the nodes here just so we can use it so let's add a plane it over got this make a new material all right make the principle f Let's delete the print of BSDF and we're going to add in a gradient texture. 
Mapping node. Extra coordinates. UV. To texture. Vector. Is this to XV? We want this quadrix view in the middle so we can change the position to be. One. Now we're going to put in the noise texture. This mapping node just duplicate this. Connect the same UVs. Connect the vector to the and this is going to be voice. And we want to influence the scale with the gradient texture. We're going to plug the gradient texture into the scale. It looks like this. But we have to have more control, so we're going to put in a map range. Here, in between it, and we have to flip the min and max. Instead of connecting the color, we're going to connect the factor. Now we have this. This is more like a uh, basically, they all spread out in all, all directions. Now you can see. Or if you want detail you want here Let's add in the color ramp to have more control over this I want the whole pop black part all right and then we want to have this gradient texture just to be the circle in the middle so we're this one and a factor it and let's mix the two a mix RGB this one to this one Here. Now we're going to add another color ramp to control this. Duplicate this one and put it this one here. And we can control how big we want to it. Uh, here is good. We don't want it to be all Okay, so that's the whole effect. This now we just have to make it transparent. So let's add in our parent BSDF shader and the mix shader. These two. And we're going to use the color ramp as the factor. And then we just have to put in the blend mode for blend. Put the none. And we have this. This is basically the middle part here. In order to add color, we have to add some color. So let's add another color ramp for the color. The green for the black here. Green. Get to the mission. All right, then we have to use the color ramp to control 
colors. Okay, and then we just have to control here. We want the white inner part to be white and then have to be green. Kind of like this. You know, because you can see. And this change the scale just however you want. Okay, so that's the middle part over here. And then for the last part with these just regular lines, we can use the same shader that we used here to make it. So let's add in another plane. You can move it over. You can use the same material that we did first. Then we just have to tweak the settings. So let's make a duplicate of this. So you can press this to make a copy. And we can just lower the scale to one line. Or two seems fine. And then we can just use the location and the mapping to center it. Like this. That's pretty much it. If yeah, so the idea is to have you know this up here is to have this the character in here. this facing here like that well you're probably gonna have to change the thing this and tweak the things a little bit but this is the idea and for this line you can scale it make it longer and shorter if you want and you basically put it on your scene you want to make these lines. All right, so that's the just a bit. I hope this was helpful for you guys, and I'll see you guys next one.